Hey, folks. Man, have I got a treat for y'all. It's uh, Thanksgiving weekend. And it's usually a weekend that Dad and I, for the last several years, either the paint team or Christmas, but really we've kind of settled in on Thanksgiving. So, uh, we make it for our little annual sausage making. We make about 100 pounds of a smoked sausage. Uh, we'll call it a Texas smoked sausage. It's a pretty simple recipe. One that we've kind of dialed in over the years and sent a little glass four or five of the same mixture and decided to use more than one. But anyway, we do it once a year, make about 100 pounds. It'll last us through most of the year, most of the time. You know, we do give out a bunch of it, but I want y'all to come along and watch us do this. Uh, kind of reversal of the thing. I mean, we've already made it, it's on the smoker, but you're fixing to see how we did it. So, uh, thanks for watching and sharing and subscribing. Uh, means a lot to us to, for y'all to do that. But uh, anyway, hope y'all enjoy it. We'll see you in a little bit. Do you want to tell them what we're doing, what we're into? No, go ahead. Are y'all through with me for a while? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You get your marker and circle. Circle what you want for Christmas. I might to edit that. Yeah. <laughs> we we got her on video, Eleanor, saying her, her new Christmas theme. We're we're making our annual hundred pounds of sausage. It's a. Uh, I don't know if we're any later or earlier this year than we are normally. That's about right. <clears throat> so, we've already cut up pork butts. Um, most people can get ground meat at the butcher shop or they can cut their own pork butts up. We just tend to buy the pork butts when they're on sale and then freeze them. And then when we get ready, we'll thaw them out and slice them up. And, and we're fixing to grind. So, it's just getting noisy. I'll play you a little music while we do some grinding here then we'll get back to our next step in the process.
we've got everything weighed out. Our Cabela scales. Just, just throwing a reminder out there to Cabela's if they want to sponsor anybody making sausage with their equipment, we're available. Or we'll entertain the offers anyway. But we've got five of these buckets. Oh, we've got all our meat grounded up. Now we're gonna get our seasonings here. Oops, my camera stuff. Anyway, we've got the granulated garlic, that ground black pepper, Morton salt, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and then of course the curing salt, the pink salt, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna get that ready and get it mixed up. And then we'll get back with you when we're go from there. Extra salt, but just weighed out our black pepper. This is a real simple recipe, but I'm not giving you my measurements. You can... And we're weighing these on Weight Watcher scales in case <clears throat> they need somebody to sponsor, also. Of course, I'm not so <clears throat> sure the sausage is. Part of their diet, do you? Well, I guess it depends on what all you put with it. Peppers in my nose.
20 inches. That ought to be good. We'll do one to see what it looks like. We're trying to figure out our length to get into to get in our bags or to vacuum back them. said sausage down here put it in a smoker awesome about this oiler. This oiler was last used uh, Thanksgiving morning. Today's Saturday. Thanksgiving, of course, was Thursday. And uh, so it was used Thanksgiving morning. Uh, they pulled the meat off at about 11 o'clock Thanksgiving Thursday. And it had been used since. So it's been shut up and everything else. Well, I stirred the coals around a little bit and I got me some long, which I don't want a hot, we don't want a hot fire. We just want to smoke. But, uh, got the coals stirred up in there. It smells wonderful. That wood, that palm wood, it smells so sweet. Uh, it's carrying just under 100 degrees. Just under 100 degrees. I don't want to. It's set at 250, which it's not, it's not going to get there. But it's going to be just enough draft to uh, bring some smoke in here and, and do exactly what we want. We don't want a lot of heat, just some smoke. <laughs>
good oak pecan mixture smoke. busy morning I really I actually forgot to get the camera out I say yeah yeah I forgot that's just what it boils down to right just kind of got in a hurry this morning uh, got quite a bit of stuff to do and just didn't get it but anyway we're at it though we were got the sausage we hung it overnight in the refrigeration after we smoked it packaging it all so <laughs> while I was getting the camera my dad came out and I didn't tell him I was going to get the camera and he started vacuum selling the sausage and, and I'd already been vacuum selling the majority of it <laughs> but there was only probably about six or eight packages left and I wanted to show you all the process so when I went and got to get the camera up I grabbed the tote that had the rest of the sausage in it and, and uh took it with me because that way i'd have some that way it wouldn't be vacuum packed by the time i got back here so anyhow that's what we're doing that was some pulled pork from last night we um we're gonna, we're gonna vacuum pack it so See, this is some of the finished product here. These links got a little long on it, so I'm having to make a little step for to get the length of the bag up here on the heat seal level. Because if I don't, I set them down there on the bottom, it'll Pull them loose. I definitely should have cut that length down. In case you are wondering, this is the back master. Got it off a restaurant website, web, webstaurant.com. 